Hi guys, Anne here, and today we have a little car vlog. I am on my way to Wawa. Why, do you ask? It is Saturday morning, and I gotta go grocery shopping and all that good stuff, but I'm like, let me go to Wawa and get the double dutch chocolate milk for my 28-year-old so he can have it when he wakes up. It's pretty early. And, you know, they sleep in on the weekends. Well, Tyler and Lexi are off today. Isaiah works, but he works second shift. And I got my little bag here so I can remember my bag. Because, you know, in Jersey, they don't give you bags anymore. So you have to, like, either buy them or they're reusable or bring your own bags, of course. So that's what I'm doing. And I have to go grocery shopping. I just have to get a few things. I already did, like, a big order but I have to like just get a few things. And I gotta go to Walmart because I need like ibuprofen. We are completely, who runs out of ibuprofen? We are completely out. How does that even happen? I don't know. I am feeling so much better. My blood pressure is getting under control. It's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better. Um, my sugar is getting better. Again, it's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better. Like it's definitely under 200 now. Um, so that's good and I feel better you know when when you know when your blood pressure is high I mean what was it, it was like 209 over I don't know one something you know and then when your sugar is you know over 300 when you have both of that you just don't feel good and for me personally I become overly sensitive so like in one of my last videos you know I got like emotional because you know, so, you know something else somebody makes a video you know it's so stupid but I tend to get like that so I learned I'm, well le I'm learning ing that I can't film when I'm like that you know and so I really haven't been posting a lot because I was trying to get my health together and I just wasn't feeling good having a lot of headaches but I feel so much better so much you know all right, let me run in here real quick and see if they have any of the double dutch chocolate milk. And do I need gas? Nope, I don't need gas. And I'll be back. Well, they have no double dutch. So now I got to go to the dirty Wawa. <laughs> I explained this before. It's not really dirty. The newer Wawas, and these are old. These are like probably maybe 20 years or whatever like that. But when I was a little girl with the Wawas, they didn't have gas stations. And then they started doing, you know how like Wawa, Wawa, Walmart in the very beginning, they just had like regular Walmarts and now they have like the super Walmarts. Well, that's what they did with these Wawas. So now instead of just the convenience store, now they have gas stations and there's only one Wawa here in the town that I live in that um, still is just the regular Wawa from when I was a little girl. It's the same one. They haven't even remodeled it. <laughs> okay. And... The nickname when I was growing up, when they start making the um, gas stations, you know, we called it the Dirty Wawa. I don't know why. <laughs> you know how kids are. And so it always stuck in me, you know. And I still call it. And my kids laugh at me. They're like, Mom, it's not dirty. It's the, and I guess the kids nowadays, like my kids, they call it the, the small Wawa. So when people talk about it, they're like, you going to the small Wawa? I'm like, small whatever anyway so I just I just say dirty Wawa um it's that sounds with a small I mean I guess that makes sense because dirty Wawa that sounds like oh you're going to a dirty store and it's not di and I don't why would we call it dirty Wawa maybe as kids you think you know when it's brand new the new Wawas are all nice and then the old ones are like Ugh. I, I don't know you know how you know, kids are so we'll go here because I always tell you that for some reason, so they have regular chocolate milk and then they have the double dutch. The double dutch is more chocolatey sweet. Like I can't drink, it's way too sweet for me, but it's very popular. And so the double dutch goes. So when they fill it up, most people take six or eight or 10 or 12, you know, they take a whole bunch because it goes. Um, and so, because I typically take between four and six. I never take less than four, you know? And um, so I notice people go to like the bigger Wawa's, you know? So usually if I'm looking, if they have any, then they have it at the smaller one. You know what I'm saying? So that's where we're going. And if they don't have it here, then I don't know what to sell them. 
And he didn't ask me to get it before I left or anything. It's just something. I don't know what's wrong with me. I still coddle my kids. I can't help it. I figure, you know, they're not going to be here too much longer. You know, they're going to eventually move out. And, you know, so enjoy it while you have it. My friend, I was saying this on, I went live on my beauty channel um, last night. And I was saying how my friend, my son's friend, that he knew since he was a little boy, um, had his first baby um, a couple days ago. I think the baby's about three days old now, is home now. And they only stayed 24 hours in the hospital now if everything's good. I'm like, wow, that's, that's quick. Um, but... And it's just, like, so weird. Like, so the, his friend uh, and the girl, of course, they live together. They've been living together and stuff. But it's, like, it's so weird to see these kids. Like, I've known him since he was, like, five, six years old. And now to have a baby, I'm like, wow. So time goes, you know. I mean, like I said, Tyler's 28, you know. And eventually, you know, he'll settle down. Right now, he's not, he, you know, he, he isn't with us one girl he hasn't settled um and when he does you know I'm sure eventually he'll move out and you know that is that so I just I don't know I just enjoy spoiling him while I have it alrighty let's go in here and see at the other Wawa they had like so many they had like four big things of the chocolate milk but like I said no double dutch alright let me go in here and I'll be back Okay, I'm getting a wet one. They did have some. So, they had seven left. And, you know, I always have to get the even numbers. Um, and so, I got six. I left one for somebody. Usually, if that was the case, let's say they only had five. Then I would grab five and then grab, like, a strawberry one or cookies and cream to make it, you know, like, an even. But I was like, I'll be nice and leave one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, so let me take these chocolate milks home. It's actually really nice out. I mean, it's been raining the past couple days, but last week it snowed. And then it's been raining. It's not raining anymore, but the ground's still wet. But it's got to be like in the 50s because I just have this on with like a little t-shirt. And I'm fine. Like, I'm not cold at all. All right, so I think I'm gonna drop this off. Then I'm gonna go to the post office, and then I need to go. I'll go to Walmart. Should I go to Walmart or Target? I think Walmart, and then um, Shoprite. I'm just getting a few things at Shoprite, you know. You know what else we ran out of? Because Lexi loves cooking. You know, she enjoys it, and Isaiah cooks too. So I'm like, you know what? I feel like making brownies. You know, I I, I was just craving a brownie. And, um, and the kids love brownies anyway, right? So I'm like, okay. I, thank God I didn't like start making it. And I looked and because it calls for two eggs and we had no eggs, not one. And that's what makes me mad. Let me know down below if that, like, I can't stand that. It's like, listen, I, you guys can use whatever you want. I don't care. Use all of it. But let me know. So when I go to the store or if I want to cook something, I can say, okay, we don't have this. I'll go get it. Or replace it. Either or. All those options. But do not not tell me. Or like if there's like this much milk or this much juice. It's like that'll piss me off more. I'd rather you drink all of it than leave this. What am I going to do with that? Unless, like, I'm making my coffee and I can use a little bit for coffee, you know, but whatever. But, it, like, what, what am I going to do with that? It, that'll make me even more mad because that's a tease. Like, just drink the rest of it. But, um, so I definitely have to get eggs and stuff. But, oh, I was so mad because that happened before. I think it was Lexi. Lexi was making cookies or something. And then she, she started everything, you know. And then she goes to get eggs and there was no eggs. And Isaiah, of course, because he makes eggs every morning. And uh, so then I went like out at 8.30 at night. Do you guys remember that? And I went and got some eggs and stuff for her so she could finish it. That's when I told you the cookies were like so flat. Well, I, I, I don't know. How, I mean, they, they were really, really good. Nice and soft and really good. But they look like a pancake. I mean, not as flat as a pancake, but almost. Damn near. All right. Let me drop these off and um, I'll be back. Yeah, I'm pulling 
pulling up at the post office at Parallel Park real quick. All right. I'd help if I turn my car off. And I'll be right back. All right, let's go inside here. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. I wish like the sun was out because it's like cloudy and stuff, but I cannot believe it's like almost February because February is probably one of the coldest months in Jersey. And I'm like, it's beautiful out, you know? Okay, let's go in. What's that? Let's soon change if it's something to eat is cold. I have a five dollar bill I can give you. Okay, God bless you. You're welcome. You. Okay, I am heading out. Let me see. Take your time. Let me uh, walk to the car. Every time I see this nail, this nail and spa, and I remember when I used to get my nails done, we're going back many years ago, because I've been doing YouTube like on my beauty channel, what, seven years? And I don't think I've ever had my nails done. I don't even paint them. <laughs> but when I was younger, like in my 20s and early 30s, like I always went, I used to go to Atlantic City, because I can get to Atlantic City in like 30 minutes. And I used to always go to Atlantic City and uh, get my nails done every two to three weeks. You know, it's so weird. And every time I see it, I'm like, I should start getting my nails done again. All right, let's get in the car. So now I took care of that. Now I'm on my way to Walmart. Yes, I am. So I think I told you, right, that I started boxing. Well, like I signed up for it. But then when I was supposed to start what, last Friday, you know, my blood pressure and everything was real high. And, of course, I had to wait till it went down to, like, do anything. I'm at a red light. And so now I'm feeling better. So I'm going to call him Monday because he was like, well, just, you know, call me um, and then see. Because I think it's like two to three times a week. And it's more for, well, one, self-defense, of course. But it's more for, like, exercise, you know. Um I was going to do kickboxing, but I have a lower back injury, so I don't know how that will do. But, like, he told me, because he does it all, like, he coaches it and stuff, or whatever you call it. You know, we'll go for the flow. And I told him, you know, I want to get more in shape, but I do love boxing. Like, I just, I, I just love the sport. It's very good for cardio. Um, you know, so that's what I want to do. That is my plans, because I want to get in shape. I'm trying to, this year in 2024, I want to get my mind right, my body right, like as far as my health, my mental, all of that. Because now that I am divorced, you know, I, I'm i just not looking. I mean, if, if, I, if I've seen somebody and I, I thought they were attractive and, you know, they asked for my number, what have you, or, but I, I'm not looking and I want to get myself right first you know what I mean like I don't want to come with no baggage and um so that's what I want to do I want to work on that and I, I, I still got a lot to do I mean you guys see when I get mad I sit there and say in all of my videos do us you know don't let anybody take it a character and you've seen lately I have been allowing that and you know like getting mad and and it's like that's not me and I really need to practice what I preach you know what I'm saying um, you know it's very hard when you just make content or whatever like that and then you know even let's say I call somebody a name like a gross pig or something like that I mean no that's not nice of course it's not nice I'm not saying that it is nice at all but when people take it and go even further and then go real life and look into your information and all that, you know, I, you know, it, I, I, I have to learn like not to allow it to bother me and, and, and do how I used to do. Instead of reacting and being angry, I pray and I pray for them. And that's what I have been doing. You know, I had a video made of uh, saying like, 
these people, because it was not only this particular person, guy, and he has his co-workers or what have you that helped do it and you know how like I always tell you like my kids aren't online but we'll, we'll talk about Lexi since she was the one who was doxxed and I'm like you know I don't have Lexi is not online she doesn't do YouTube well they took it as I said my kids aren't on my channel they're not on my YouTube so they go back they made they put up a video where Lexi literally had just got back from having open heart and lung surgery where she was still swollen because she had blood clots down her arm and stuff right and I have never said my kids were never on my channel or my husband was never on my channel. No, I mean, you guys know that. That's been with me. I mean, she was just the one when we went to the Haunted Hayride. I mean, you could have found her one earlier than one from four years ago. You know what I mean? But it's so weird. So then, anyway, the whole point to that video was, she's lie. See, we caught you. We caught you in a lie. You said your daughter wasn't on YouTube. And look, you had her on your channel. I'm like, you're so stupid. <laughs> Of course she's been on my channel. She's my kid. What I mean is they don't do YouTube. They're not on YouTube. In other words, like my daughter can't even comment because she doesn't even have a YouTube account. She doesn't have her own channel, her own stuff. But for somebody to be that angry and triggered and to go back and look things up from four or five years ago, I mean, it, it, it's like, you know, you just got to pray for them. You you, you know, it, it, what else can you do? So anyway, he goes and he doctors my daughter with her legal, because I've always called her Lexi. Lexi is her nickname. Well, they proceed to say, well, so they, they gave her full legal name, first, middle initial, and last name. And they said that she's a public figure because she's been on my channel. What? What? Okay. Um, it's just crazy to me. And they said I doxed my own daughter. H how? I've never even said her real name. Like what? You, you, you doxed her by now. But it's like. If somebody gets that angry by calling you names or even talking, just talking in the video of something he doesn't like or they don't like, to start going real life to try to prove, like, I got you, um, that's what I'm going to do. Just pray. Now, right now, I'm talking about it because I just want to give examples. But instead of me making these videos or reacting or getting upset because somebody didn't like the fact that I talked about my trauma and then they want to just think that they can talk about it, you know? Is it illegal that they're talking about it? No. Is it unethical and just fucked up? Yes. But then you got to look at the person, right? And you, I, and that's what I do. I, I, I'm, I, I do. Every night when I, make, when I say my prayers, I pray for them. And I do. I, it has to be a very miserable life to sit there and to go back that far and to, like, find little things to try to be like, oh, she lied. It's like, why do you care? If I was the biggest liar on YouTube, why do you care? It, it, it just... You know, and my point to that is, is that's when I know, like, I still have a lot to, a lot of work to do because I shouldn't allow little things like that to get me so angry that I talk about it. I mean, it just proves my point. This person is a gross pig, right? But, um, and, and that's how we just have to look at things when, when people are that nasty. And then I got myself upset. I'm like, and these people are supporting this. They, no matter if my daughter is an adult or not, you're supporting this. I thought kids, people's kids were off limits, like, whatever, you know, like they want to, uh, they, they, they threaten me to look up my divorce records. It's like, go ahead. You know, you're not going to find any, like, go ahead. I mean, if, I, I don't want it to happen, but if that's what you, you can't stop somebody. But again, that's when you just pray for them, for somebody to care about you so much, uh, you just pray. There's nothing that you can do, right? And anyway, so I have, I still have work to do on myself before I can actually start dating again, if that makes sense, right? All right, so um, let's go in here. I just have to get a few things in here, and uh, then we'll go to the shop right real quick. Let's do this. And then Lexi's off today, and we're going to be cooking. I'll, I'll be vlogging that as well. All right, so I'm just coming in here. A lot of stuff for Valentine's Day. Let's see. Let's 
sort of like Tyler and Isaiah. I like this peppermint candy hearts. Like a chocolate from Hershey's. I don't see it though. Alright, let's go to the clearance aisle and see what they got. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Oh, they still have that um chicken crisper thingy that I showed you before. Let me show you. See? Get a lot of them. Thirty dollars. Very interesting. I wonder if Lexi can use something like that. I got strollers. Hmm. Tote cooler. I don't need that. Oh my god, look. Look. Let me show you. Look at that. All right, let me uh, get some stuff that I need and I'll be back. All right, I still got a little bit more to go. Um, Cause some things here are cheaper than like going to shop right and stuff. But let me show you what I got so far. So, I got this for the carpet. I've never seen this before. I wanna see how this is. And then, remind me to tell you a story about what happened in my kitchen slash dining room with a whole gallon of milk. So I got that, and then this, and then I just got a little thing, cause I still have, I still have, um, uh, what do you call it? Detergent and fabric softener left, but I always like to have, you know, some, there is my ibuprofen, of course I got their, Nala likes her little bones, and I got the puppies. This. And yeah. Oh, and I did get, I want to try this foundation. Revlon. I just never know how to color match, like drugstore foundation. And then I got this. They say this is real good, the powder from e.l.f. And then I got, um, a different color concealer because I'm always getting too light of a color so I love this concealer so let me finish and I'll be back okay I went a little crazy okay let me show you what I got I only brought two bags in hold on hmm. I'm a little crazy here so now I don't think I'm gonna go to shop right because I need to get this frozen stuff home and then I have to film today, but I have meat and everything else, but I go to, I'll go um, another day to do that. So I just basically got everything. I mean, I, I, I can go to shower and get stuff to make salads and all that, but I just don't feel like it now. Let's see what damage I did. All right. Um, it's getting pretty crowded in here, so I'll be back. All right, so I just got out of there. I gotta remember where the heck did I park at. I spent, are you ready? $325 and then some change. So about $326. But I needed, well, I mean, did I need like chips and dip and all that stuff? No, I did not. But, you know, I did need like cleaning stuff. I, it, it's excuses. I gotta stop. Uh, I don't remember where I parked at. Guys, no, I have no sense of direction. Did I park this far down? Here I am. So I'll show you really quickly what I got, and then I got to get some more bags in the car. I did bring two bags in though, but I wasn't expecting to get this much here. So let me show you. Okay. So see, I do have two bags of stuff, but the other stuff I couldn't fit in there. So let me get everything in the trunk. There's my bags, and I'll be back. I'll get another wet one. And wet my hands. Yep, so I'll look at the receipt again and tell you exactly how much I spent. And it's like, do I want to go to ShopRite? I just, I'm tired. I don't feel like it. I 
really slept last night. I don't know why, um, but I've been up since 5.30 this morning, so I'm a little tired, but I have to film today. Well, I got to film with Lexi. That, that, that'll be on another vlog, and then um, I have to film a few other things um, on my other channel. And then I want to um, go, I'll probably go live tomorrow on this channel to talk to you guys. Okay, I spent $325.95. That's what I spent. Um, so about $326. The only thing that I like really have to get that we don't have, because I have like meats and stuff and like um, things for the air fryer, but uh, is... Um, like stuff to make salad because I really enjoy eating salads and stuff. So, but I, I I don't like need it. I can get that another day. Um, I might go to Wendy's and get me a salad. I know I'm terrible. I'm terrible, guys. I'm terrible. I think that's what I'll do, and then we'll end the vlog. It'll be short and sweet this vlog, but at least you know you can come back and see my help happy self. You know, because like I said, lately I've been filming, you know, I haven't really been in the best moods and um, more emotional and, you know, like complaining a lot. And, you know, like I said, when I get like that, I just have to kind of like not film because I get very sensitive. Um, but I'm doing a lot better. So I'm back to my old self. I hope it stays like that. I don't want to do it with my hands like this because I want to start traveling and doing things. But, like I said, where it was snowing, where it was cold, and when it's really cold, my back and stuff starts hurting. But, um, I want to, like, go down the shore in Atlantic City and all that. Like, that is definitely my plans on this channel, to do things. Go to the casino, um, show you guys what it looks like in there, because I just play the slots. I mean, I could take $30 with me and be there for hours. I play the penny slots, and I just do it for fun, you know. Um... But I, I have plans on doing that, you know, and taking you guys stuff. And also doing some walk and talks. And, but going different places, showing you parts of South Jersey and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anywhere else I need to go? Because once I'm home, I'm going to be home. I'm not going anywhere. I don't think so. I don't even know what we're cooking, me and Lex are going to be cooking. I, I said this in my live, like, I never like to cook. I've always cooked, and people enjoy my cooking, but I never was the type that I like to cook. Like, if I didn't have to, I wouldn't. Like, once the kids move out, and if I'm, by, if I'm still single, like, I won't cook. It'll just be me, you know? Um, I always cook because I had a family and different things like that. But some people really enjoy cooking, like my daughter, my youngest son, Isaiah. They really enjoy cooking and, like, you know, experimenting and different things. Um, you know, and some people enjoy doing that. You know, they like cutting up the onions and peppers and, like, experimenting with different herbs and different things and getting fresh basil and what have you. Some people just really enjoy that. I do not. <laughs> Right? So I love the fact Lexi's in, in, like, likes to cook. And she cooks really, really good. Actually, she's probably getting better than me, to be honest with you. And that's the truth. I said this before. Like, Lexi's uh, grandparents, her dad's mom and dad. So his the father, so her grandfather who passed away, he was assistant pastor of a church. And so he would do a lot of the cooking for the church. You know, so on Sundays after church, you know, people would eat and stuff. And then her grandmother would cook as well. And they would also sell platters. And they would have, like, competition with each other because both of them cooked so good, you know. Oh, my gosh. So the grandfather was is from down south, Florida, and he's, like, Jamaican. So it was all that, like, goat meat and whatever the stuff, you know. And the grandmother cooked, like, soul food, like, fried cabbage, fried chicken. Like, it was just so good. Um... The grandfather cooked a lot of curry stuff, like curry chicken, curry goat, you know, all that, you know, stuff. But, um, a lot of fish. It, like, and, um, they both enjoyed cooking. And I think Lexi took after that. And then Isaiah, so Isaiah has a cousin on his father's side who, um, 
actually is a celebrity cook. If I said his name, some of you probably would know who he is. And he's out, he lives in California now. He's from Jersey, of course. Oh, I actually went to school with him. Um, and he, he enjoys cooking and he's getting ready to get his own restaurant and all that kind of stuff. So he enjoyed it and Isaiah took after that. My mom's side of the family? No, I told you. Because my grandmother, she was a waitress for over 40 years, okay? She was in, in New York and Manhattan, then when she came to Jersey. And my mom, like when she made chicken and different things, everything was shake and bake. Who remembers the shake and bake, okay? The seasoning they thought was just salt and pepper. How can I help you? Hello. Can I get a um, Parmesan chicken Caesar salad? Yep. Yeah. That's it, huh? Thank you. Yep. Um, and so when I started cooking, I didn't know what like seasoning and stuff was. People would laugh at me. So when I got with Lexi's father, you know, they showed me a little bit how to cook, but they're the ones who really got me into church because since he was assistant pastor, like we had Bible study and we had to go there. And if you were friends, like if you were there when they had Bible study, you had to, um, thank you so much. You as well. You had to stay there for Bible study or you just couldn't come over that day. Right. And, um, and then when I moved to my second apartment, thank you so much. I got my salad. Don't judge me, okay? Um, and then I'm going to pull over so I can say my goodbyes and stuff. And then when I got my, went to my second apartment, I met my friend. And she's the one who really taught me how to cook. Um, and like even like steak when I used to fry my steak I used to like use oil and she was like no what are you doing and she was like use water I'm like water I mean of course you season your steak and stuff but she was like yeah put water get the water hot put your steak on and put a lid over because that way the water gets hot and it steams and it steams in the steak and it softens the steak and it makes it nice and tender and stuff I mean little things like that I didn't know she taught me how to make potato salad and so many things like how to really fry some chicken the soul soul food you know what I mean and about seasonings and then I had a friend who was Spanish she's Puerto Rican so she taught me how to make homemade rice and beans and all different things and that's how I learned but other than that no I did I did not have to know how to cook at all so Lexi she has TikTok right so I don't have TikTok so she watches a lot of videos and stuff and she doesn't have her TikTok like she does TikTok she just watches it and I guess there's a lot of like different recipes she's trying out and then she'll like Google recipes and all of that. Like the last time she cooked, she made hot honey chicken. I'm like, what the heck is that? Where she actually has honey and different sauces. Everything's homemade with chicken breast and she made like chicken tenders kind of like, and she's doing that type of stuff where it sounds gross, like, ugh, but it's actually pretty good. I was like, wow, this is pretty good. I spoke too soon, you know, like that. And, um, like, when she makes her baked macaroni and cheese, she makes it completely different than I do. Which hers is really good, too, you know? So, anyway, that is that. Alright, I'm going to get off of here. It's a very short, quick vlog. Um, I just want to take you... <laughs> know what I'm doing with my hands. I just want to take you guys with me today since I haven't really filmed, you know, but like I said, I'm feeling a lot better, so I'll be filming more. Um, I have one vlog coming up with my friend Vernon. I have, um... Well, you'll see this one already. Yeah, the one I'll film with Lexi. And then we'll do, if it's nice out, we'll do some walk and talks. And um, we'll, like, go somewhere. I think I want to go to Atlantic City. I haven't been there in a while. So we'll try to do that this week. And, yeah. And I want to vlog more in the house. Like, some coffee talks. But, like, just, like, sitting in a little room talking and different things, you know? So, Anyway, I'm going to get off of here, guys. Please uh, like this video. It really does help me out. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really does help out with engagement, even if it's just an emoji. It means the absolute world to me. It really, really does. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. Never let somebody take you out of character. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. All right. Bye, guys. Crazy right now. Crazy right now.